Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am very happy to present you with my September plan with me video. I am absolutely incredibly proud of how this turned out. Yes, it wasn't 100% what I envisioned initially, but still the outcome is incredibly, incredibly satisfying, at least to me personally. For this month I decided to go with a little bit uh, of closer to fall, closer to autumn, cozy, cottage core vibes. So for the first page, as you can see, I did a double page, I think triple page, more than one page spread. Uh, on both sides at first I decided to go with this under layer of watercolor just to shape the base colors everywhere uh, with my watercolor paint and then after it's all dried out I went off with my gouache paint and just did this scenery of sky and autumn grass, autumn hills. But when I started working with gouache, I went thick with many C's in the end. I've been watching a lot of uh, gouache tutorials recently and in general, a lot of videos where people paint with gouache. So I feel like I became a little bit more confident with what I'm doing when I'm painting with gouache. And I decided that this wasn't that expensive of a set, I don't really need to save it that much. So I just used so much paint. I went incredibly thick. I went with many, many layers of, of color and it gave such an incredible texture. So in here you can see I'm doing this uh, kind of layered look for the autumn grass autumn fields and honestly when you open my bullet journal now you can clearly feel the texture so much paint I've used but I am so incredibly happy with how it looks in the end because it gives this feel that like the fields a lot of wind it's all wavy it's so incredibly satisfying to look at And apparently I decided that I haven't been tortured enough recently, so this uh, hill that is further, further away, I decided to make like it's covered with trees, with autumn trees, so they are a little bit more brownish. I got my smallest paintbrush and I just started. <laughs> it took quite a while, but I really like how it looks in the end. It looks very satisfying and it definitely looks very cute. And to make this a little bit uh, cuter in the end, I decided to add a couple of sheep. So they are just very nice and fluffy blobs of white paint with a little bit of details in the end. And a cute uh, tiny lamb with uh, black wool. 
It's so adorable, honestly, I can't. I just can't. After adding a couple of uh, grass uh, elements in the corner, I don't really know how to call this properly. But after all this dried out, I moved on to the second part of this spread. So after turning the page, I just started doing pretty much the same thing, but uh, from another angle. So this is the continuation of this kind of island, so you can see some lake or uh, maybe the sea goes into the sky and this part i decided to make a little bit more cloudy so it looks a little bit uh, more autumn at least in my field so it looks like it's gonna rain quite soon and i feel like it looks really good in the end it gives this anticipation feeling of something coming of like a storm brewing or something similar to that but yeah, everything else essentially is pretty much the same. The same very thick layers of gouache over uh, dried watercolor. I'm really happy. It is looking incredible. spray that I decided not to do sheep again because that would be boring uh, and I did a couple of highland cows if you don't know what highland cows are please google it please search it up this is just essentially cuteness this is just cuteness the essence of cuteness they are so fluffy. Apparently they can be different colors. I didn't really know it, but I personally like this ginger brownish look of them. So I just did a couple of these cows on this part of the page. And after finishing both of the pages, after waiting the, for them to dry out, I did the window. It was... it turned out a little bit different than I expected. It was a lot more complicated than I hoped. But the final result is incredible. I love it. I absolutely adore it. And obviously I cannot skip the most satisfying part of peeling all this washi tape off. 
the left page turned out absolutely perfect, while on the right side, after I peeled washi tape off, I realized that I didn't um, put washi tape everywhere, so I have a little blobs of color on the right side, as you can see here, but I feel like it doesn't really bother me too much to be worried about it. So I am so happy with how this looks. That is cute. And moving on to the calendar. Obviously calendar goes next. I decided to combine a little bit of different paper. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I wanted to try to use a bit more different paper. So some craft look definitely screaming cottage core to me. So for the calendar itself, I just used uh, this craft paper. I cut it in the shape of the calendar for this month. And it is a little bit smaller than I would usually uh, make myself. So I just decided to do a goals section on the right. And under it, obviously, I wanted to do more drawing. So after doing this base layer of under color, so to say, in my watercolor paint, I obviously needed to go over with my gouache and do the big drawings of another ship and another highland cow. And again, just like with the cover pages, I went with a lot of paint. Uh, further, I realized that I haven't waited enough when I turned over the page, so my ship turned out a little bit ginger after the Highland Cove. But it still doesn't bother me, because the texture is incredible. It looks fluffy, it looks like you can feel the fur, you can feel the wool. And it is really, really nice. I really love how it looks in the end. And obviously, the grass I did with the same method like I did on the cover page. Just very big uh, blobs of these colors. And after I was done with all the paint, I just went over with my brush pen to give a little bit more of an outline for the sheep, to give a little bit more fluff here and there, and to make the face a little bit um, more defined. And I di did a little bit more outline on the cow as soon as the paint dried, but for some reason I decided to do the gold section first while being threatened of being threatened with coloring all my sweater and all my arm with this nice orange color. And moving on to the next spread with my habit and mood trackers, I again used a little bit of craft paper for the habit tracker part. I just did these uh, calendars, just simple boxes, which I'm gonna color uh, with my marker later. And yeah, habit tracker is incredibly simple. I really like these simpler spreads where I don't have to think what to do. And I feel like it's really good. 
For the mood tracker though, I went overboard a little bit. I don't think I've ever thrown that many mushrooms in my life. But I just uh, searched on Pinterest for mushrooms because recently mushrooms and cottagecore theme in general have been a staple, a very big obsession. So there are so many different cottagecore themed, mushroom themed posters. And after all the mushrooms were done, I just wrote down all the emotions that I would want to track, colored a little bit of the mushrooms so they don't look that plain, and uh, used a little bit of washi tape and very pretty stickers I apparently owned, just to make the spread a little bit less black. And just like that, we are done with this month. Again, I am so happy with how it looks. It is so cute, especially this front page. When I just thought of it in my head, I was so happy. And it looks so adorable. This Highland cows, this sheep. Oh my God, they are so cute. I love it. I absolutely adore it. Calendar, very cute. I love the color scheme. I finally feel like I got the color scheme correct and I really want to stick to this orange brown theme for the rest of the month as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you very soon. Bye bye!